I pledge allegiance to the flag to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Diane, you want to do roll call? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, uh, let's see. Longo? Here. Rouse? Here. Macozy? Here. Daniil? Here. Ferretti? Here. Kabinsky? Pam, you there still? No. Okay. McIntyre here. Uh, I'm, gonna approve the, I'm gonna make a motion to approve the minutes for the April 25th, 2022 board meeting. Got a second. I second, second it. Second. Okay, let's talk about the pond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'll start off because I because Chris and I have been going over this. Uh, one of the things that I definitely want is the engineer overseeing the project. Okay, that leaves the responsibility totally on the engineer uh, and we'll make all our decisions based on him. Uh, I think we should have a payment agreement in place before we sign the contract. Chris and I have gone over this a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to use an example. Let's say the project's going to be $120,000. Um, one of the things is is, is the, the, the material is probably going to cost around $40,000. I, I, I ran a, 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 a fast, quick estimate at it, and, and it's running at least $40,000, maybe over $40,000, but somewhere around that area. So let's say we give them $40,000 up front as long as the material is on site. I don't have a problem paying him like that. If he, if he shows it, shows Chris the receipt, uh, that will leave $80,000 left. Uh, I had sent Chris something a while back about somewhat of a payment plan. I think we can still go by that. Uh, when 25% of the job is done, and we'll let the engineer base when 25% of the job done, the job is done, and as long as it's, it passes his approval, that 25%, We'll give him twenty thousand dollars. Then, when it hits fifty percent, same procedure. Seventy-five percent, same procedure. We'll give him twenty, twenty, twenty. At ninety percent of the job being completed, we could probably give him another ten thousand if we want to. At that point, and then hold ten thousand out for the end. When everything is completed at the end, and it is done, everything is done according to according to the plans, and the engineer gives us his blessing, and we've got everything done that we want done. We give him the balance of the ten thousand uh, dollars. I mean, that's one way to go. I mean, what do you think, Chris? I mean, is that a good idea? Um, I, I was definitely thinking on uh, um, only the the only money we'll give up front will be material like you hey, said, Chris. Yes. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, I'm, I'm having a tough time hearing you, Chris. Okay. How's everybody else. Okay. Um, how's that? Can you hear me now? Go ahead. Okay, Pam, Pam just joined us. So my thought was um, pay for material that's delivered and only give them progress payments as approved by the engineer. So if the engineer says, yeah, Chris, they did 10% they did or whatever, you can give them you know, a certain check and totally go just by what he's approved and that's it. I, the, the, I, I missed a lot of that because I couldn't hear you. Chris, why could, are you talking under mic? I can't oh, hear I could you. Hear, I could hear you before real good, Chris, when we were talking, so. Why, I, I, your left off, Chris. How about now? Can you hear me better? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, because I had the computer turned. How about now? It's all right. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah better okay. like that. Um, okay, so Pam just joined us. So uh, my thinking was just like the same as you. We'll give them, when all the material is actually delivered, we'll give them a payment for the delivery of all the material. Um, what I was thinking is progress payments as approved by the engineer. So if, if they call the engineer and say, okay, we've got all the pilings in. So the engineer would have to approve, yes, the pilings are in, they're in the right spot, and we would only pay them um, according to the engineer's um, uh, okaying whatever they finished. Right. Okay. And, and we can let him determine where the 25%, 50%. Whatever the percentage he feels, right. If, if the pilings, let's say, is only 10% of the job, all right, you know, Chris, give him 12 grand. That's, That's 10%. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Is that, does that sound good? Since we're going to have the engineer oversee it anyway, 
Let him yeah. let him tell us. All right, they completed this. Pay him for that. Okay. Right. Okay. And I and I'll put that. I was waiting to the meeting, and I'm going to actually call Jacob. I'm not going to have him do a whole big contract like um, uh, uh, with Osiris is, but I am going to have him write something up officially, how we're going to pay them, what they're supposed to do. I've already told him they got to give us all their insurance, the whole bit. Okay. Okay? Yeah, that, that's, that sounds good. You know, like I said, we let the engineer make all the decisions and everything. It, exactly. Yeah. Take us out of the loop. Let him tell yeah. us, you know, okay, it's complete. Go ahead and give him money. Uh, well, uh, my, my, my suggestion on a final approval would be uh, have you and Chris and the engineer walk the project, make sure you're okay with it, then give them the final yeah. 10 grand or whatever. Okay. Also, don't forget that we do have to pull a permit. So this all has to be, this all has to be inspected by the county also. So even what we, even what we did with Osiris was we didn't give him the last payment until the county did come in and say, you're good, we're signing off. So that'll be part of it also, that your last payment will be given after the county approves the permit being done. Yep. Right? Fair enough? Yep. Okay. I'm good with that. Absolutely. Chris, what's the engineer going to cost Chris, us? Chris, Ron. Yeah. I got a couple concerns, a couple questions. The, uh, the, uh, okay, the engineer, that, that, that's great. I, saw, I read that review that you, you, know, you sent that some person says don't hire him or something. Yeah. That might have been a unique, unique situation and so forth. Yeah. But I was reading on that thing, all due respect, I mean, you two guys know much more about it than I do, so I'm going to go whichever way you and Chris decide to go. But I just wanted to bring a couple things up that, um, are they going to do the bulkhead all around? Yes. That's complete bulkhead right yes. around the whole time, yep. We're not going to have any environmental problems because it's close to the road, is it, you think? No. No, no. And, and part of that pond already has bulkheading on the Canner Highway side. Um, it, uh, obviously, all the way on uh, the green side, it's already on. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. The T um, box side, yes. and partly on Canner. And now Osiris has been out there and seeing it, and these guys have been out there and saying, and no one has ever mentioned any kind of environmental thing. Okay, no, I'm just curious yeah. today. And when he said, I think they said in one of the correspondence that it would uh, take eight weeks after they received the permits, correct? Yes. Yep. Now, how long after they, they start will there be a completion date? Well, we won't know until we know what. I can't hear you. We won't know until we until we know what the start date is. Yeah, yeah I know. But I, I mean, when they start, how long would it take them after their start date? Approximately eight weeks. Oh, I, oh eight weeks after yeah. that. Yeah. Now, okay. one, thing I, one thing I wanted to say on that, and Chris and I had talked about this before, he's going to have to rent some equipment, okay? If he's going to rent equipment, I'm sure he's not going to let that equipment sit on that job site. 100%. Okay? It's not going to be like Osiris because Osiris owns all his equipment. This, right. guy, this guy's going to have to pay for some of these, um, some of these big pieces yeah. of equipment, so he's going he's to want to move, I'm sure. Yeah, you, but you, guys, you, you guys feel pretty confident with his company? Because I know I said that they have an 89 rating or something with a yeah. below 50% or 30% I'll tell you what, liability. Yeah. Pardon me? I'm, I'm comfortable with the guy as long as we got the engineer overseeing everything. Okay. okay. So that'll, I mean, that'll th that's why I want the engineer involved in this. I don't think. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Through. I mean, you can't believe all those reviews. I mean, some of some stuff stuck out in the reviews. And I mean, you know, like where they were supposed to put a pipe through the seawall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just want to make sure that everything is done right. I mean, this oh, guy's no, I agree. Business, this guy's been in business since 1997. I'm sure he's doing something right. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in business right now. Yeah, I know he's not registered with a better business bureau, yeah. but a lot of people aren't that anyway. Well, well neither neither is coastal land development, but yeah. this, this guy has got a, a no rating with a better business bureau where, where coastal land development has got an A rating. So they do rate them, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's only if people call in. So, I mean, it's... Well, I guess I, I, I don't want to see the project being delayed or anything, but I'll go on the uh, what you you and Chris, you guys have been involved in this so long, and it's I'm out of the picture pretty much on that. You know construction and everything else. In my opinion, I'd go whatever you two guys decide to do, in my opinion. I mean, you know, some of these people with those reviews, you got to take them with a grain of salt because you could have the best contractor in the world. And yeah. Get yeah, and you're get, yeah. Them, you know? yeah. Yeah. I didn't see anything that was that bad other than I'm more worried about to make sure that it's done right. You know, yeah. that's a big thing. Yeah. All right. one, of the, one of the things I read on the review was that the people liked the work he did. Yes. Yeah. The, his timing wasn't the greatest. Well, well, well think, 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 about, think about that. <laughs> think about that with Osiris. Yeah. 
Yeah. We would have given the same kind of rating. We would have said yeah. the, right. the final job was fantastic, but it yeah. took yeah. long to do. So th that's why I agree with Ron. I take all those kind of things with a little grain of salt. Right. So, you know, I, uh, um, like I had said in the past, they have bid on Pond 5. They bid on doing our docks. I actually yeah. used them when the, when the bulkhead was falling in on Pond 8 about 14 years ago. They're, they're who I used. And Mike Vespoli does all their electric work on all their private docks for lifts. So he's been working with them for years. So, uh, you know, overall, I, I think, it, to use your term, it is what it is. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I, we, we got to get going on this. And with having the engineer oversee it, I think we're protecting ourselves. The big thing is the engineer. I mean, it'll all fall back into the engineer. So we just got to make sure that he's there. And he's, he's right. Doing, right. Exactly. Exactly. Hey guys, I just got a notice on my uh, iPad. It says the free meeting ends in 10 minutes. Okay. So we should try to wrap this up in case it. Okay. Uh, All right, Gene. Had a, Gene had a question about: Do we know about what the engineer is going to be? And that's about three thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. Not bad. No. Uh, Chris, just I'm going to do this fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, we don't know what the lead time is on the material as of yet, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, the final, the final excavation of the thing, is it, is it going to be done to the point where we can put sod down? Yes. Yes, it'll okay. be totally graded, um, and, and all the fill and, grade, and grading and all that will be ready for us to install sod. Okay, any damage to the course he'll repair? Um, it's not on there. Um, okay. Uh, uh, there's going to be damage. I mean, there was damage on everything. I mean, is that something that is that something that we'll take care of or he'll take care of? Um, I'm going to have them if they let's say they they say they mess up the T box, they'll regrade it. And we'll do the sod. Okay. Yeah, okay. they're going to they're going to leave it ready for us to install sod. Yeah, I, I'm having a tough time here. I, I'm catching you, but. They're gonna okay. they're gonna leave it their final grade. It's okay. I, I heard I heard almost everything you said. That's fine. You're, you're answering my questions. Okay. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be any overages on this pond. There really shouldn't be, um, unless we run into a problem. What kind of a problem we gonna run into that small pond? Um, I, mean, I I can't really see anything, and there are no metal pipes. There's no culvert type pipes okay. that would have to be replaced. Everything that comes and goes out of that pond is plastic. So it's either PVC or that corrugated um, uh, plastic drainage okay. tile. So I don't see any culverts or anything like that needing to be replaced. Okay. Now one of the things is is we have a, we have a line in there now that we can pump out of there into Pond Five right now. Correct. That's going to stay there. Yes. Yeah. We, okay. Yeah. That has okay. to stay. Okay. Okay. Because that way, if we have to drain the pond, if the if the other pipe doesn't work, we can push it back into that, Pond Five. That's correct. Okay. Um, there's going to be a dead man in every piling, you said. They they require a dead man at every piling, yes. Okay. And I don't know. I mean, let's let's get to everybody else. Question. I got pretty much mine. I can I can go through this. Gene, do you have any other questions right now? No. Uh, I uh, you know I got your letter and all that stuff, and I've been talking to Chris. He's been keeping me informed. Everything's good with me. Did you hear that? Did Ron? you hear that? I'm looking Ron? at Gene. Gene, or do you have any questions? No, Gene's good. He's good. I can't hear him. That's why I'm just okay. Waiting. Okay. He's good. How about how about you, Lorraine? I no, I have any. I don't have any questions. They were all answered. I was concerned about terms. I know nothing about construction, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. You're not the only one. Still, still might have questions. Really, how about I'm you, really Diane? I'm interested in terms. I'm I'm good with everything that's been said. Can you hear her? Did Diane, no. what did I, did she I answer, said she's Diane good, answer? She's good with everything that's been said. See, I can't hear what's going on. She's been good. She's good with everything that's been said. Okay. Okay. How about you, Bob? Anything else? She's good. Okay. Pam, anything? My only question is regarding re release of liens. That'll be in there? Re her question was, what about release of liens? And yes, that will be in there. Including okay. materials. Okay. The, uh, include, including the materials. Correct. Okay. You, Vic, anything? No, oh, I'm good. Okay, okay. Other than we just got to make sure he's insured and everything else, Chris, all the normal stuff. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, of course, definitely. That's going to be, you know, he's got to give us all the insurance. Hey, Chris. He's got to give us all the insurance, all that stuff. Okay. That's that's okay. our normal, you know, contract stuff. Yeah. So can okay. somebody make a motion? 
Yeah, Ron, make, make a motion. motion that we accept uh, Treasure Coast Barge to do the pond renovation on Pond 8. Okay, Diane, take roll call. Okay. Longo? Longo? Yeah, second. Second. Second by McCosey. Yeah. Okay. Daniil? Yes. Ferretti? Yes. McIntyre? Yes. Kabinsky? They can't hear. Yes. Okay. yes. Pa Pam? Yes. Ron? Uh, Ron Longo? Longo? Yes. Bob McCosey? McCosey? Yes. Yes. Victor Browse? Mick? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it passed unanimous. Mm -hmm. Chris, I have Got a couple. Four minutes, Victor. Okay. Five minutes. Before you adjourn, I have a couple of comments uh, on other things, so if I talk, may. Talk into the mic because they're having a hard time okay. hearing you. You got to really talk into that. Okay, uh, I just wanted to, since we're on YouTube, I have a couple of things I wanted to say. First of all, just a reminder about July 4th. Monday, 12.30, in the main clubhouse, uh, hosted by Ron and Brenda Benny. Should be a good time. I think there's still tickets available. And uh, bingo's still going on in the last two weeks of the, each month. Uh, I was with Dave Ferris the other day, who is one of the prominent golfers in uh, Monterey, and he asked me to pass it on that uh, he thinks that the, uh, to thank Sid, that the course and greens are the best he's ever seen here at Monterey at this time of year, and I agree, Sid's doing a great job. Uh, I was going to say something about the water shutdown, but Chris will uh, elaborate on that a little bit, I'm sure. And one other thing I wanted to uh, say is about trivia night that Claire and I are hosting on July 20th here in the main clubhouse. It's bring your own bottle and snacks, $3 for each play, all the monies go to the winning teams, there's no sign up, you just come with a team or a single and we'll put you together with somebody. Multiple choice answers, which makes it a lot of fun and a lot of laughs. You'll have a good time, guaranteed. Thank you. Okay, so the only thing I did want to say for anybody. Hey, Ron, Ron, before you, Ron, yeah. I just want to say one thing. And I said it before, I sent it to uh, email to him. I think Chris Davis should be commended for the job he and his committee did on that website. Absolutely. I just went on it a few times and I tell you, it looks, awesome. it looks awesome great. Job. You should be commended for that. And it's only going to get better. Chris, if you're listening, thank you. Yeah, yeah he did a great much. job on it. Yeah. Okay, so just one thing I wanted to say because of all the people in YouTube and anyone watching, the water for the entire complex will be shut off next Wednesday from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. And you have to boil water for 24 hours after the water comes back on. We're going to do an email blast, and we're going to do a call them all. Don't call the office when you get the, the call them all. Just listen to your message. That's what it's going to be telling you is that the water is going to be shut off. That's it. Okay. We're all set. Let's adjourn the meeting. Just, just uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you said this, but the water will be shut off 9 to 5 on that day. July 6th. July 6, 9 to 5. Okay. Motion to adjourn? Second. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Good seeing you. Thank you, guys. Thank you everybody. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye, Pam. Take care. Bye. Got one minute and 47 seconds.